Hi everyone. I hope you're all well. I wanted to share with you some things I've been doing lately in my spare time. I've been pulling some cards and um, what I've been doing is I've been using the Lunar Nomad Oracle and I pull a card every day during this time to see if there's a collective message. Another thing that I do is I have a bag of charms. I've collected these. They have um, lots of little charms that are associated with Lenormand cards and um, other signs and symbols that I use in my mediumship. Um, basically, they mean something to me. I know what all of them mean. And depending on where they fall on the card, I have another interpretation. So I wanted to share with you what I received today. And uh, I'm going to try to attach the picture of the card with the um, charms on it at the end of this video. Let's see how, do, how good I can do this. But uh, let me just go through the information for you. So the card that came through was the cross. The cross is about struggle, a cross to bear, devastation, grief, depression, religion, dogma, and faith. So some of the messages that come from this card that really stood out for me for the collective right now, stand bravely at the shrine of your heart. See a world that empowers you that wants you to thrive. Envision a life where darkness does not rule you, but rather clarifies your desires and grows your light. The cross wakes you up to the thorn in your side. The pain can no longer be tolerated, so it must be acknowledged. What is the other side of the pain? There is always another side to the experience. If you work from a worldview of sadness, poverty, and anger, then your life will be filled with more of the same. This is not a judgment. It is simply the truth. You cannot always change the situation, but, but you can choose your reaction. So that's exactly the information that the card gave us. I love it. I think it's right on. This is how I've been feeling throughout this entire situation. Now, I would like to say my interpretation of the charms um, that were tossed on top of this card. Um, the charms were a bird with the feather nearby. And uh, birds in the Lenormand meaning mean small meetings, gatherings. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be in person. Um, I believe right now that many of us are connecting. We're connecting via the phone. We're connecting on the internet. We're checking in on each other. So I feel like this is what the message of the birds is, is about connecting to each other. Um, also, the bird is right by, um, in the, the card of the cross, okay, in this particular deck, um, it isn't like a Lenormand deck where there's just a cross. In this particular deck, the artist gets very, um, he uses uh, his imagination and it gets a lot deeper. Um, so this is not really a Lenormand deck, although it has all the symbols. The reason why I like it is because it really gives me a depth of that symbol that I can use in other ways in my intuitive work. So um, going back to the card, so the bird is right near her hand. So to me, that is saying um, there's a woman on this card. That's what I meant to say. Uh, there's a cross, but then there's a woman on the card and her arms are outstretched. She does not look like she's attached to the cross. Um, however, the charms have fallen around her body in different ways. And the bird is right near her hand. 
And as I look at it, it's near her hand where she would be giving. So in this, um, to me, that message is saying that we are giving of ourselves to our friends and loved ones by having these small check-ins, these small meetings. We're reaching out. We're reaching out. Um, the other thing that's very interesting is a feather attached itself to the bird and is pointing back at the woman's heart. And so um, the feather I have uh, symbolized for myself as um, the messenger from spirit. Because for me, I find white feathers whenever a loved one is trying to let me know they're near me. So when I see the feather, to me that symbolizes that there is a friend in spirit that is guiding you, that is, that is with you, that is watching over you. And for that feather to be with the um, bird and pointing at the woman's heart who is having the burden of the cross, I feel that is saying that spirit, our spirit friends and loved ones are also with us and they are communicating with us as well. And so if we tune in, we can reach out to them and they can reach out to us. So I find that beautiful um, as part of the message. So the other symbol that we have is an owl. Um, the owl's feet are standing on the woman's womb and the owl is pointing away from her, like ready to fly away. I take this to mean the owl is for wisdom, and I take this to mean that the womb of the woman is actually the womb of Mother Earth, and her children that are flying away, or let's say growing up, growing away from Mother Earth, they are gaining wisdom from this experience. So I find that really, really beautiful. Then at the bottom of the card are two more charms. All the way on the left is the word brave. And that word brave is right over another smaller cross. So to me, I feel that that message is about bravery being the foundation of what we all need to pull up within us right now. And so we can stand in our power right now and get through this by pulling on the bravery within each one of us. We have that, we have this, we're good, it's gonna be fine. On the other side of the card, I find it interesting as well, this woman looks like she's ready to rise away from the cross and out of the ground and um, behind her is a mountain and the charm that fell down on top of the mountain is the mountain. So the mountain in Lenormand meaning means that you have to stay grounded, that you can't go anywhere, you're blocked. So um, I really feel that all that is signaling is that we have been forced to stay in our homes. We have been forced to um, stop our routine and uh, maybe I don't want to use the word forced. Um, the circumstances have been in such a way where we're finding ourselves in our homes. And um, take a breath for a minute and just, you know, really take that in. Our home is our sanctuary and how many We've been spending so much time in the rat race. We've been spending so much time surviving. We called it surviving our everyday 3D world. But now we really are surviving. And what's happening? We're not just surviving, we're thriving, okay? We're all good. Not only do we all have everything we need and we have our loved ones with us, but we're reaching out to others. These wonderful acts of kindness 
are being documented all over the planet. And I hope when this is all over that we will really only be focusing on that, on the beautiful kindness and humanity that this has brought out in every single person all over our planet. This is something that has happened that doesn't know race, that doesn't know religion, that doesn't know sex, that doesn't know gender. And this is truly unity consciousness. So if you get anything at all from this video and from what I just read um, from the divination that I did this morning, I'm very happy. Take that in. Um, if you'd like to leave a comment, please do make it a positive comment. Let's bring positive vibes into this space. Let's keep doing it. Spread the positivity everywhere you go. And right now, remember that online is also a, a space, a safe space where we want to project the most positive energy that we can. Positive energy and I've been hearing it on many channels, and I agree. Positive energy is the best medicine right now, okay? I love you all. God bless you. Take care of each other in love and in light. I'll see you on the other side. Bye.